Hello everyone. Welcome to the video lecture series of uh, Theory of Automata and Formal Languages. Uh, so here uh, we are into unit number four where we are dealing with uh, push down automata. Uh, this is lecture number three uh, where we will be understanding the, cons uh, the construction of PDA by means of transition function. Okay, so I will deal with uh, three examples basically. Uh, and these three examples are enough to understand how to construct a PDA uh, by using the transition function and also uh, I will also show one or two questions with uh, two questions with uh, trans uh, the, the transition graph as well okay so uh, I have written down the first example uh, with a with with how to write in your examination okay and uh, like the like Coming up with example number two and three, I will just uh, show you the uh, transition graph and the transition table or uh, the transition function. Okay, now uh, the first example that we are going to deal with is uh, design a PDA for the language L is equals to A to the power N, B to the power N, N is greater than equals to one. Now, similar type of example you have, uh, we have explained or you have understood in lecture number one. There I have mentioned zero to the power N and one to the power N. And in that particular video, uh, in that particular example, I have shown you uh, how to use the transition graph and um, how the flow is going on, right? Now, in this example, I will show you how to use the transition function and how to, what are we, what, what and all will be the steps, okay? Now, uh, following up with the step number one, and these steps are like, you can say, it's one kind of uh, way of writing in your examination, okay? So if you're attempting for any kind of uh, competitive exams, only the uh, transition graph or the transition uh, function, that is, that's enough, okay? So step number one, uh, is it's nothing but you have to write down on your own what analysis you did by understanding or by looking into, into the language. So by looking into the language, I can say that number of A is equal to number of B, and also uh, number uh, the number of a is followed by number of b's okay so this is the analysis that you can write in your own words in step number one and that too also i have mentioned over here now in step number two okay i'm going forward in step number two you have to write down the definition or formal description of the pda uh, with the seven tuples and finally once your diagram or once your state transition uh, function is done then you have to mention what and all uh, are the uh, tuples that you have used in your diagram or in your uh, transition function that you can write down on at last because still now you have not drawn the diagram or not drawn the or not uh, carried forward with the transition function steps okay so first of all uh, in step number two you just mentioned these uh, tuples you already know right seven tuples number of states number of input symbols stack alphabets transition function initial state final state start symbol of the stack so these uh, seven tuples you have to mention and once you are done with the uh, the diagram uh, you can mention what and all states you have used what and all input symbols you have used okay but input symbols is already known a and b correct okay now stack alphabets you can mention at the last okay so now now step number three will be the one which we'll be discussing today is the transition function how it is explained and in for the, as as the language is a to the power n b to the power n so you directly cannot uh, go for infinite language right i have to take a finite string and i have to work on that so in step number three i have taken a finite string and that finite string is a a b b okay and i have to work for this particular string but before that i want to explain to you what is the structure of this transition function okay uh, this transition function is like this delta then it will comprise of three parameters equals to it will come comprises of two parameters so delta will have three parameters the first parameter will be the current state i will explain to you how to use it okay the second parameter is the input symbol to read okay the third parameter is the top of the stack clear then equals to whatever is there two parameters are there so the first parameter will be current state or the next state that depend on the transition steps and the next parameter is push or pop clear so this is the general format in order to this is not mentioned in any book okay so like uh, you can keep in keep on mind uh, like in order to understand or in order to remember this 
uh, format I have uh, given to you. Okay, now let us move to the uh, let us move to the steps. Okay, how to work it out? Okay. Now, uh, first day I have drawn the input. I have taken the inputs. Uh, I have taken the input uh, tape where I have mentioned A A B B. Correct. Initially, it will be epsilon. And finally, if I reach epsilon, then it is clear. And this is your uh, stack. Okay. Initially, it is epsilon. Okay. Now, uh, first of all, uh, first step, what it will be? It will be uh, uh, actually this is a unique step. Okay. It will be a universal step. You can say you can use in any of the equation. Okay. So delta. Initially, I have taken Q naught as the initial state. Now, what is the initial? Now, next next parameter is input symbol or uh, input symbol to read. So what is the input symbol initially? Initially the input symbol is epsilon. Okay. Now what is the top of the stack? Now top of the stack is also epsilon. So as both are epsilon, the state will remain as it is Q0. This is the current state or the next state. Now as uh, both the symbols are equal or both are empty, right now the current state will be the same. Okay. Then Q0 comma now anything to be pushed? Yes, I will push Z naught as the next element. Okay, because Z naught is the start symbol of the stack. Correct. So I will put Z naught. Okay. Now number two step, delta. Now the current state is always now Q naught only. Okay. Now after epsilon, what will be the next element to be read? Its input symbol is A. Now what is the top of the stack? Now top of the stack is Z naught. Now, uh, what I have to do until I is, uh, read all the A's, I have to push into the stack. So what I have to do now, one more thing is that you have to keep in mind, if the input symbol that you are reading is different, then automatically the state will change. The state will change to Q1. And what will be the uh, elim what will be the operation over here? Push or pop? Push. So I will push A and the element will be now A Z naught. So I will also show you in the stack. So A will be the one. Clear? Now next step. In the next step, the transition function, again the Q1 will be the current state now. Okay, now the next element will be again A. Okay, and what is the top of the stack? Top of the stack is now A. Since both the elements which are reading is same, so the state will also remain same. So Q1. And what will we have, what we have to do until we read all the A's? It will be pushed, so the push operation will be done. Now this you can show uh, show the uh, the the, for the top most top top two most uh, values. Okay, so A I have inserted over here. Clear. Now as I have done this process, push operation is done. Now fourth delta Q one will remain as it is. Now what is the next input symbol that I am reading is B. Okay. Now, what is the top of the stack? A. Since both the input symbols are different, so the state will automatically change to next state, Q2. Now, in, as, as we have reached into different uh, uh, different symbol, so automatically we have to pop this. Now, nothing to push. We have to pop this. So here, if you write in this particular place, if you write epsilon, uh, keep in mind, this means that you have to pop the top of the stack. So the top of the stack will be now popped and it will move to its original position. Clear? Now next fifth step, delta. Again, Q2 will be the one. What is the next element that is to be read? B. Now what is the top of the stack? Again, A. Both the elements that you have read is same. So the state will remain as it is. Q2. And if uh, both the elements are same and uh, the element at the top of the stack is different. So what operation you have to do? You have to do pop. So this A will rem uh, will be popped and it will move back to its original position. Clear? Now we have read all the elements. Now according to your logic, Q2 will remain as it is. Now what is the next element to read is your epsilon. And what is the top of the stack? You can see Z0 is the top of the stack as both the elements are already popped. So if this scenario comes then and already you came to know that these two symbols are that you are reading is different. So Q2 will now reach into the final state and anything to be popped, nothing to be popped. So either you can write Z0 or you can write Epsilon over here. That depends on you. 
This means that Z0 will be uh, popped out and again the stack will become an empty. Z0 was just a start symbol to show that the entire input uh, reading of input symbol is done or not or pushing or popping is done or not. Correct. So that is only the meaning. So these are the final six steps. In these six steps, you have done the entire reading operation of this input symbol, input string A, A, B, B. Clear? So these are the steps for the transition function. Any doubt? If you are having any doubt, please comment down below. And if you're having any query, then also let me know. Okay. Now, uh, this is a general uh, process. Now, one more step is left out that I will explain to you. That's a very simple one. Okay. So this is the one that the step number four is all about. Now, step number four, you have to draw the state transition table for this string. Now, these are the param. These are the fields that I have mentioned. Serial number, state, unread input, then stack, and then transition used. Okay, now uh, I will directly go into the step as you if you have uh, drawn the or if you have written the transition steps or uh, uh, whatever I have shown in earlier, then you can compare the steps. Okay, initially in the serial number one, I the state was Q0 and the unread input was AABB, correct? And the stack element was Z0, okay? And the transition that you have used is number one. So whatever transitions you have used, you have to write down serially. Clear. Now, step number two. Again, the step was state was Q naught. Correct. So the input read element. Now this has already been read, and A B B will remaining, and this A will again push to stack. So the element in the stack will be A Z naught. Now you can also compare like this. This state change will be like this. Clear. You can also compare in this format. Okay. Now. Uh, so uh, now next will be your again Q1 as because I have already uh, uh, changed the state or, uh, uh, or changed the element from epsilon to A. So Q1 will now become the new state. Again, the input that has been read is A. A has been put into the next element into the stack that is A, A, Z0 and left out input read, un unread input is BB. Now the transition function that I have transition that I have used is step number three. Okay, now step number four is again Q2. Why Q2? Because from A, I have changed to B, correct? Definitely the state will remain, uh, state will uh, change. So Q1 to Q2, correct? Now B has been read. So you can also uh, do in this fashion that uh, this is related with this, this is related with this. Okay, so in this fashion also you can, uh, you can check it out. Got it? So then B is, uh, B is scanned. Now, as soon as B is reached, as B is uh, B is read, then what will be done? It will done the pop operation of A. So A will be omitted from here and it will go get back to its original position. Clear? Then again Q2, then B has been read, then this A will be popped and it will go to its original position. And then finally, we are left out with epsilon and Z0, correct? And then finally, once we are left out with from B from epsilon, then definitely the state will change from Q2 to QF. And then finally, we got epsilon as the unread input and the stack is also empty as because we have already done the pop operation over here. And this is nothing but your transition number six. Correct. So this, this table is somewhat very simple. If you have done the transition function, you can check it out with the transition function and then you can write down the table. Okay. But the main concept lies in this in this transition function steps. So be sure that you have done or you have read uh, the input symbols and once the input symbol are same, then the state will remain same. Once the input symbol will be different, the state will also change. And if epsilon comes in this particular step, then it means that the top of the stack is need to be popped. Okay. So this is how you have to um, carry forward with the transition function steps. Okay, now if you have to uh, check it out with uh, with two important uh, topics that I have discussed in uh, lecture number one, where I have mentioned acceptance by acceptance of a DFA, acceptance of a PDA. So acceptance of a PDA are of two types, acceptance by empty stack and acceptance by final state, right? So acceptance by final state and acceptance by empty stack is nothing but this one. So acceptance by 
mt1 clear acceptance by mt stack and then the final one the last last step is nothing but your acceptance by final stack so that you can mention actually uh, the main definition uh, the main definition that lies in acceptance of final stack is nothing but if particularly if for a particularly uh, a string is accepted by PDA if uh, starting with the starting state in the finite control the start push down symbol on the top of the push down stack by sequence of moves the word W that means the word string uh, whatever A A B B is read from left to right that means this entire process is being scanned or read from left to right and we reached into the epsilon that is nothing but this is nothing but your final stack so this entire process if this is your empty stack acceptance by empty stack and the entire process until you reach the final state is your acceptance by final state so this is your uh, these two topics also I have discussed over here and this is an important question that I have to uh, that I have to assign you because a to the power n, g, b to the power n or 0 to the power n, 1 to the power n is the preliminary question for understanding the construction of PDA. Okay, so uh, I'm in the next lecture I will uh, let you know uh, two examples uh, where we will discuss about uh, Two, uh, two different type of languages and two different type of working of languages okay where you will learn how to skip a particular transition okay so let us check in the next lecture video okay thank you and uh, if you have any doubt please if you have any query also you can comment down below thank you